Hey everybody. Sorry about the heater in the background. But uh, sorry it's been so long. I think it's been a couple of months since I uh, reviewed anything on my channel. I've just been, you know, in the hospital and been going through a lot in my life. I uh, recently lost my job, so it, it, it's just been a transitional period. But I'm back now. And um, the good news is I'll still be able to bring the Comet Bentos and the Horror Packs to you every single month. So that's the good news. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started for June 2016 of Comet Bento. Alright, and pretty much that month was the whole Valiant fans. Uh, month and uh, first up we have Faith which I thought was an interesting story you know the story kind of intertwined with some of the other Valiant comics and I just really I enjoyed it for what it was it kind of made her into a popular character from the Harbinger it developed her character a little bit and that's what I like it, whether it be TV or movies or comic books or regular books. If I can see any character development, that's what I like. But that was um, Faith, Hollywood, and Vine. Oh, and uh, let me show you some artwork. We had some pretty decent artwork. I won't spend... Uh, let's try. I'm not going to ruin it for you, but... Yeah. Next up, we have... It's Harbinger Wars, issues 1 through 4. Oh, by the way, Faith was also issues 1 through 4. So Harbinger Wars, this is issues 1 through 4. And this is just a freaking amazing graphic novel. It's just got a lot of twists and turns, and it's, it's amazing. I would highly recommend it. But first, at least read... So there's some of the hard work. Read at least Harbinger Wars, the first graphic novel. But yeah, that's Harbinger Wars. And uh, if you do get into Valiant, I also personally highly recommend that you uh, read them in order if you can. It, it makes a lot more sense that way. Third up, we have Harbinger Volume 2, Renegades. And this is issue 6 through 10. And it's, 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 pre, it's a pretty cool... Uh, pretty cool... Novel. A graphic novel. I really do like the Harbinger series. It's getting to be really, really good. Introducing a lot of new characters. It's kind of the equivalent of mutants, in my opinion, for what Marvel's done. But yeah, anyway, that's Harbinger Volume 2 Renegades. If you like the first volume, then if you got this bento box for June, you'd be glad they put this in there. But if not, Definitely pick it up if you can. And last but certainly not least, we have one featuring Exo Man of War, and this is volume one of Armor Hunters. But they classify this as a mini series, even though it does say this collects issues one through four of Armor Hunters and issue number one of Armor Hunters Aftermath. So, yeah. So it has the whole mini series. This is the whole mini series right here. And this is just with Exo Men of War and everything, this is just great. This is just amazing. I was hoping that they'd have, you know, some other ones. I think Ninja might appear briefly in the Eternal Warrior, but I don't think they do. See so yeah, there's some there's some cur there's some art for you. Yeah they do. They appear briefly in here, but it's not to stop Ninjak. Yeah, right there they are. Ninjak, or not, not, not stop Exo Men of War, sorry. 
There's Ninja and the Eternal Warrior. Actually, this has Unity in it too, and it has Live Wire. But yeah, that is Armor Hunters, the mini series. Definitely pick this up if you can. I mean, it's just amazing. And those are the four Valiant graphic novels I got for June of 2016. If I can hold them all up at a time. We have Armor Hunters, uh, Harbinger Volume 2, uh, Harbinger Wars, and Faith. I didn't say too much about them. I just gave, I mean, it's just like, my own opinion about them. The more and more I read of Valiant Comics, the more interesting it gets. Like some parts of it, you know, seem kind of boring and stuff, but to me it doesn't. And that's what I like. So I will see you next video for July's Comic Bento. Until then, see you later.